so first I need to take care of this hair my hair has been growing and has been getting so healthy but as you can see my temporary color is washing out so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with prepping my hair so that I can steam my hair later on I'm gonna start off by putting some oil in my hair and probably leaving it in my hair for about 15 minutes before I steam this oil just helps the deep conditioner do its job it stimulates growth and all that good stuff I no longer have the patience to dedicate a lot of time and energy to my hair. And there's a lot of things that I should be doing that I know are good for my hair, but I don't. But stimulating my scalp with an oil is something I don't skip out on because it definitely helps with the overall texture, strength, and growth of my hair. After this, I go ahead and just throw my hair in a bun and let it sit until I'm ready to steam. Now this face mask is a alkaline face mask and it is all natural and it's something that I really love. I feel like this definitely gives my face a very tight clean effect and it's made major improvements to the texture of my skin. This smells like very natural. Um, it's not artificially anything. So it doesn't smell that great, but it works like a charm. And I have my oil in my hair. My skin is going to be great. And that's all that matters. I am going to try to relax today. This is actually is edible, so you can eat this. Um, do I want to eat it? No. This little, it stinks. Does it stink? You don't like it? Does it stink? You don't like it? Okay. And probably the most thing that has been struggling in this time is these feet. I am so used to going to the nail shop every two weeks to get my nails and my feet done. And one thing I just can't do, like I just feel like I can't do a good job in, is scrubbing my feet and cleaning my nails and things like that. So I have this foot mask that I'm going to try. And it's supposed to basically make your skin peel. I'm really excited to see how this is. I'm going to just let this sit on my feet for about one hour. So I thought today was a good day to try this out and see how it actually works because it's supposed to make all of my skin peel off within the next like five to 14 days. So now we're just going to relax with the babies. Come on, Daze. I'm gonna let this sit on my face for probably like 20 minutes. The hair oil kind of stimulates my scalp, getting it ready for my steaming and deep conditioning. Um, so yeah, ooh, this dropped. Good thing it did not drop on the babies. They are running literally everywhere. They're like two and a half weeks now. So. Now to prep for my hair steam, I went ahead and I basically dampened my hair with some water. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some deep conditioner. This is the Aussie three minute miracle moist deep conditioner. It is infused with avocado and Australian jojoba oil. After using this, I've noticed that my hair has been incredibly moisturized and just my curls are really juicy. So because I'm heavy handed, I like to add an insanely amount of this product just to make sure that it's completely lathered on all of my hair. I like to make sure that I'm sectioning my hair, getting every single part so that when my hair is actually being steamed, all of my hair is covered in product. Then I actually like to add the frizz taming cream to the ends of my hair because this product is super thick and I feel like this formula really moisturizes my hair and adds a lot of definition to my curls. All of the Aussie links will be down below in the description box. 
Now that I have all of the deep conditioner in my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my seamer. So this is my seamer that I have a love-hate relationship with. I definitely love it when I use it, but it isn't always the easiest thing to set up and it isn't the most sturdy. I've actually had to buy two of these at one point, but I would say that it's definitely worth it for the benefits that I get for not only my hair, but also my skin. So as of right now, my hair texture is getting really healthy and really thick and it's growing and it's getting long, so I cannot complain. So my curl type is kind of all over the place right now, so I wouldn't re really say that I have a specific curl type because it is getting back 100% healthy. One thing that I love about these Aussie products is they moisturize my hair and they smell good. Honestly, the smell is really what gets me. This product is really thick and it lathers my hair for steaming treatment and it just allows my curls to be moisturized and healthy. Ah! And I've been very new to their curl collection, so right off the bat, the things that I love about the curl collection is one, it has avocado and jojoba oil. Those oils really help moisturize my hair and allow my hair to have really nice, pretty curls the next day. Pair that with the steamer and you're undefeated. So I'm probably gonna sit under here for about two sessions of the Max line and then go ahead and rinse out this mask and then style it with a leave-in conditioner and be good to go. This feels so good on my hair. Feels so good on my face. Honestly, hair steamers are the plug because deep conditioning only gets you so far because your hair is dry and your cuticles are open. So basically putting a whole bunch of deep conditioners and all of that stuff on your hair does nothing because your hair is dry and crusty. So. In order for it to work effectively, you need to steam your hair and open up your cuticle. Same thing when you get a facial. Your esthetician or when you clean your face, you don't just put cold water on your face as you're getting ready to put your product on. You have to first warm it up, open up your pores, and then put your face products on so that they can penetrate your skin and do the work. Same thing with hair. A lot of people don't understand the importance of steaming and it can literally accelerate your hair growth and your hair treatment if you're trying to fix your damaged hair. This is something that I live by, especially when I had blonde hair. To be honest, I don't do it as much anymore because my hair is healthy, but that should be more of a reason for me to do it so that I can continue to have healthy growing hair. if you hit that that means you messed up so you got to just turn it off then turn it on now that I'm done steaming it's time to rinse out my hair as well as wash my face mask off now about this time I like to just let my hair air dry and I'm gonna chill at home listen to some music or an audiobook and make a smoothie So I must say, I am definitely one of those celery juice drinkers, but I've done it for a while and I've definitely added some extraness. So I always used to add lime, but now so as of recently, I've kind of just turned it into full on smoothie by adding some fresh fruit because you know, I'm just a little extra. So I add fresh fruit and then I also got this powdered kale. I'm really excited about the powdered kale because it's sometimes it's hard for me to eat all of my kale in the refrigerator. So having the powdered kale has been super beneficial. So I get all of those good nutrients in that. The keys on self-love, self-help is that you have to commit to it. 
She told me, sister, when you get, give. When you learn, teach. These are lessons to live by. Let's not be mediocre in our greatness. You know what I mean? Like think big, think big and think in doses, think in experiences and don't be afraid of experiences that teach you. Don't be afraid of that. We don't always have to be so, you know, our generation is just so, you know, we're just cool all the time. It's like, I'm always cool. I'm a baller and I know everything, you know, and that's just not, that's not realistic. No one knows everything at every time. No one is just that cool all the time. So what I realized is, you know what? I can't create and not live. I can't be in this vacuum of, you know, of, of creativity, creativity, creativity without life. I'm trying to get to this next level without, as my, my brethren says, without the next level finding us. You know, it's like life is, is, is peaks and valleys. And some people think that that, some people explain that as good times, bad times, but I actually think it's learning or, or, or let's say learning mastership, learning mastership, okay, or study mastership, study mastership. And now as far as styling my hair, it kind of just depends on my mood. I'm not the type of person who likes that weighed down, super defined curl look. I don't mind a little bit of frizz if I have definition as well as volume. So for styling, I like to mix these two together. This is a thick, heavy cream that melts down really smooth and gives my curls juice and shine. But this right here gives my curls hold. Because as you can see, I kind of need both. I do like the juiciness and the shine of this, but if I were to put all of this in my hair, I feel like it would weigh it down. But this is super lightweight, and the tackiness that's in this product basically holds my curls together so I don't have a whole bunch of frizz. This pudding is actually amazing because when you actually put it in your fingers, it's super lightweight, and it feels like it's gonna be something that's not gonna give you hold. But as you can see, it is very tacky, and it's not sticky like a gel. It's more like tack, it's more of a tacky um, consistency, kind of like a primer. So for this, it's perfect for my hair because it gives me the hold that I need without weighing down my hair. What I really like about this product is when you take it out, it's super thick. It almost seems like it's a little bit too heavy for my hair texture, but as you mix it in your hand, it kind of evens out and it's nice and smooth. And after testing these products, I feel like this is the product that really gives my hair the bounce and shine that I have in my end result, which you guys will see later in the video. Mix these both in my hand so that it's evenly distributed and then put it in the ends of my hair. And I like to leave less product at the roots because that's where I get the most, most of my volume. So I work it in at the ends first and then kind of um, use the remaining that's on my hands for the top. After I put these two in my hair, I go ahead and let my hair air dry. And these are my results on day two. So I was very, very, very impressed with these products. I have not used Ozzy in such a long time. I don't even think that they had a curl collection when I was using Ozzy. But I will say that this definitely was trial and error. And the one product that I found gave me the most juiciness, shine, and bounce was definitely the curl cream. Add that with the steamer, add that with deep conditioners, and I'm good to go. Really happy with the texture of my hair, the volume in my hair, lack of frizz in comparison to volume and definitions. I am very impressed. And if you guys are interested in any of these Aussie products, I will go ahead and put them all down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next upload. Bisous!